Hey gang, UV here. Today we're going over locking seat clamps. So I'll go over basic operations of these clamps, maintenance, compare some of the different brands. I'll talk about the modifications I've made that I would highly recommend, as well as a new type of clamp, which I've never seen before, but I really don't get out much. So uh, this one's a new one to me. If you don't see a modification that you've made that you want to share, I would love to hear about it in the comment section below. So let's get started. Here's a look at the three brands of clamps I have around my shop. From left to right, Harbor Freight, Vice Grip, and Jones Way, which is a Fastenal brand. You can tell right away that the Harbor Freight clamp is made out of thinner material. The Vice Grip and the Jones Way is the same thickness. The only difference is the vice grip is made out of solid material and the Jones way has recesses that lighten the clamp, but I have not found that it takes away from the strength of the clamp. Although the Harbor Freight clamp is not as strong and is made of thinner material, there is a place for them. They're affordable and they work really well when you incorporate them into jigs. Be sure to inspect the bin thoroughly for ones with proper alignment and best quality. You may only walk away with two because the quality is pretty inconsistent. Of all the clamps that I've modified, these red ones I use most often. I've modified the arms to get an extra inch or two of clamping width. I have four like this and I have them painted red so that I never lose track of them. Here is a pair of Vice Grip brand six inch locking seat clamps. You just can't have enough of these. I've got several of these and another two tied up in a custom clamp. I've got a couple of Jones Way in this size, but I don't have any Harbor Freights. My experience has been when clamped, they have a tendency to pop open. So I cannot recommend them. This clamp I can't recommend either due to the sheer lack of experience I've had with them. I just bought these yesterday. They are unique. They're an automatic locking clamp, which means the clamps will always engage the work as long as the tension is not too high when the handles are closed. They are made by C.H. Hansen and they did not skimp on quality. I'm able to adjust the tension one-handed, but possibly due to my lack of experience, I still require two hands to close the clamp. This is an 18 inch clamp from Jones Way. The Vice Grip makes one that's just as nice. Uh, Jones Way happened to be cheaper, so I've got a few of these laying around. And here's a freakish 18 inch clamp that I've modified, strengthened. I got this pair a long time ago and the quality was so low. When you went to lightly clamp down, the arms would twist. It just did not have the rigidity. So I added material to it until it worked the way I wanted it to. And I must say it does come in handy to have long clamps that are also strong. All right, so before we get into the, the more freaky clamps, let's go over basic operation of the locking seat clamp. This is a tip. That was taught to me about 10 years ago by a guy I worked for, a public works artist named Jim Brenner. You start by closing the clamp onto your work, tightening the adjustment screw until the jaws close onto the work surface. Open up the clamp, turn the adjustment screw a little bit past a quarter turn, and you're golden. Let's take a quick look at different adjustment screws. The Harbor Freight is plain. The vice grip, you can use an Allen key to further tighten with a bit more tension. This clamp has an arm which I've welded onto it, inspired by the design of strong hand locking seat clamps, which by the way are really good quality clamps. I highly recommend them. I just don't own any, so that's why you don't see them here. Okay, let's get back into the modified clamps. Some of these are self-explanatory. There's nothing fancy about them. The pads on these are machine leveling mounts. They work really well. This one I made for 
dimpling tubing on a bicycle. Uh, the tube is called a chain stay. That was done while the, the metal was hot. These clamps are great for aligning flat material like sheet or square tubing. These set of clamps come in handy for butt welding, round rod or round tubing together. I have another set here which I've put a notch into for a specific task. And this one I've used to align two pieces of pipe for butt welding. And this little ugly duckling is a locking seat clamp that I made using pliers. The shape of these jaws allowed me to clamp onto plate that was submerged under cutting fluid. So yeah, earlier I did mention the use of cheap Harbor Freight clamps on jigs. This particular jig was built for an order of about 50 chairs that I had to weld up and powder coat uh, for a restaurant. During production, this jig would have had about seven or nine clamps tack welded to it for easy and repetitive clamping. And now for the do what I say, not what I do moment. You can see here a tack that's left over from prior use on a jig. These tacks have to be ground down before the clamps are put away. They're extremely sharp and dangerous. A final note on maintenance. You want to put a little bit of grease here once in a while as well as on the adjustment screw. Well that's it guys. I sure hope you found this to be informative. If you did, please like and subscribe. When you subscribe you'll be notified when I put new videos up. I really enjoy sharing this knowledge with you guys and if there's something that you feel like I've missed or something that you've created or discovered that you want to share, please put it down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. So have a good one unless you've got other plans. Peace.